Hello guys, Omni here. The long-awaited new official trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2020 live-action movie that had quite the controversy over the first official trailer for this. And, you know, I probably, I kind of added to the mix as well, so there is like going to definitely be a guilt level to this. You know, even if they had stuck with the initial design, I was still going to see that movie because if it wasn't going to be good, it at least was probably going to be a massive train wreck. Uh, at least for the, just the, the nightmare fuel that is, was the original design. I, I'm surprised there were some people defending it. Now, like, I honestly, I still feel bad, no matter how you look at it, because the their creative team did have to go back, re-rig, reanimate, redesign this character, and... As much as I tried to avoid the trailer today, I could not avoid actually seeing the new Sonic. And I have to say, the new design is so much better. So much better. It looks a little less real than the original design, but I don't care. I would really like to see all of their collective concept art for the in preparation for this movie i feel like that would be an interesting artistic dive to see like their creative process that led them to the one that blew up the internet but i will say given right off the bat i really i just i love the new design great turn i wish they went out of the gate with that to avoid all of this and you know no matter what i was going to go see this movie because whether it was the backlash or seeing it, just pure curiosity and just my love of the Sonic universe was going to have me in these seats. And now I'm definitely, I hope everybody that complained and opted and preached and begged for them to change the initial design, they better get their butts into the seats because they listened to all the crybaby nerds, even though that includes me on the internet, who just ripped apart this design. And it wasn't even the fans that purely did it. This was the internet as a whole destroyed that design and memed it to death. So this should have the biggest box office opening of any movie ever based on pure guilt alone. That aside, people better watch this movie at some point or another. So screw that. Time to dive into the trailer and see what we have. Let's go. I'm Sonic, a little ball of Holy crap. In an extremely oh, what? package. On my planet, people were always after my On powers. my planet. So I came to yours. It gets a little lonely. But that's okay. <laughs> I am living my the best flash. life on Earth. So Hilltop no. is on Earth? But it looked like the that was... Oh, Sonic. well, yeah. Also Sonic. Dude, I don't care. This is goofy and cheesy, and it's still, like, not the best animation, but... I can't get over how much better this design looks. Ah, uh, oh, that was so much less terrifying. They're coming for me. If they steal my power, they could conquer the universe. You have to help me. No, I don't. Please, it's life or death. I mean, it doesn't like blend in well, like the contrast, but I don't, I honestly don't care. There was no way that it was going to work. seconds to tell me where it is. Wait. I mean, he's an alien anyway, so who cares if he looks like he exists on our planet? This can't be happening to me. Oh my god, stop the car right now. What? what? The world's largest rubber band ball? We gotta see it. No, this is not some fun family road trip. <laughs> eh, you're right. It was lame. Gift shop was cool, though. I... I love it. Whatever this creature is, I'm going to uncover the source of its power. Yeah, hey. Dude. thought you might like a latte with steamed Austrian goat milk. Of course I want a latte. I love the way you make them. <laughs> we gotta lay low. Let me see you know, I down. love that Jim Carrey is doing classic Jim Carrey in this. Yeah, time to go. I always Even to as overplayed as it is, I don't care. He literally has the speed force in this. He's my friend. Let's go! This is my power. 
and I'm using it to protect my friends. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. So, you're supposed to be Tom's best friend that he won't shut up about. Well, I don't see the appeal. That is very gross. Let's go. Dude, sign me right the heck up. I'm in. I'm in. This is 10,000 times better than what they gave us. Not just, not just even the design. I feel like this was an overall better trailer. Now this isn't going to, it's still not going to be a movie for everybody. This is still definitely, now change of design doesn't necessarily mean the movie is going to be any different or any better, but I will already find it 10 times more enjoyable this way. You know, the other way, I would be much happier watching it at home with a bunch of friends and just getting wasted off of that terrifying movie. But this, I just love it. The energy is all there. The expressions are all there. It, it, it just, this is the Sonic character brought on screen. This is what I wanted. This is what I was hoping it was going to be. And, you know, like I said, it still stands out. It still sticks out. It, the contrasting the, doesn't necessarily match the world it's in, but it, it, it at least has the benefit of being an alien creature on our planet. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to blend in the same way as it would with reality. The light's not working all that well. The lighting, uh, there's light correction. Color correction needs to be done a little bit more. But this is, the how fast they actually pump this out is really surprising given the time frame between the trailer and now um, and the release date itself, uh, I expected to see something like this maybe a little farther down the road. And there's a good chance they're still working on this. So even by then, maybe the color correction, the color and the contrasting, the lighting on the animation might look a little bit better by the time the full product is out. Uh, but even if it's not, I would take it like this because I like it. The energy is there, like I said. I, it, I like I like the little integration with him. Like I don't understand so much what they're saying in this. Is like on my planet, everybody was always trying to get my power. Who on his planet was hunting him down? Was it the uh, was it chaos? Was it uh, who who was tracking him down on there? Because clearly Robotnik is from Earth in this. So I'm curious. I want to know what's going on in that world, and also why why is it built like the levels in the game? which I like, but I just, I'm curious what the natural formation of these uh, ramps and loops are. What are the internal machinations are of this planet? The geothermal, uh, the, the tectonic plates that cause the shifting to create perfect loop-de-loops. Anyway, just the logical stuff that, you know, game world physics and the real world physics stuff. I, that aside, I don't care. I don't, I don't care because it just looks like the game, the character on the screen. That's what I want. That's what I wanted. That's what everybody wanted. I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. That aside, he literally, not only is he reading Flash comics in this, they're talking about getting his power. They want to know what powers him, where he gets it. And he has this like lightning effect when he's running around that gives him the blue streak rather than it just being the after image that he leaves behind for moving so fast, like the blur on a car that just zooms by your vision. He actually has an energy source that he emits and just the fact that he's reading the the comic the flash comic books in this and just speeding through them it just makes me just think does he is he tapping into the speed force because it's the lightning just like the flash does when the flash runs he creates lightning it could just be just them just borrowing a general aesthetic but I, as a as a dc fan and a sonic fan a part of me wants to just imagine that sonic is actually a speedster who uh, gets his powers from the Speed Force. Maybe we'll see a crossover and the Flash will race Sonic and decimate him. But that aside, I don't know. I just, I just generally like the tone of this whole thing. The, the interactions with him and James Marsden, the, just all of it. So much better in this. And the, just the design is so much more welcoming and inviting than the previous one that, you know, they have my money. They're going to have my money. So this that's the only thing I can say. If you guys generally like Sonic, and if you were one of the people that complained about this, please show up. Please put your butt in the seats because they listened to our complaints, whether they were valid or not, which they were. But anyway, show up. 
show your support for a company and a team and a director and artists that listen to the feedback as whiny as it may have been and changed. They went back and practically remade an entire movie to please us. So please show up in the seats. So support that kind of response. Does that set a dangerous precedent for film? Maybe, but that aside, they did it. They listened. Show your support, your appreciation for that fact and show up and get at least pay for a ticket. <laughs> I don't care if you go see the movie. If you if you complained about this movie, you, you owe it to them. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I got for this. So let me know your all's thoughts down in the comments. We'll carry on the conversation as we do after the video. Thank you all for watching. If you're still here, make sure to support the channel. I would really appreciate it for a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the people that have at the, up to this point. You guys are great. Everybody that's been participating in the comments, I love it. I love the interaction that we all have, the ideas we share, the reactions we all share, and the things we all love and share together. That aside, that's it for tonight. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.